Welcome back to Pro League, guys. It's the last match of the night, the ace match between Prime and Startail Yoey Esports Club. Yeah, ace match. Yep. Lenoch. Who are you going for, Valdez? I'm going for Lenoch, man. Yeah, man, me too. I, I think he's going to take this one. It's going to be on Deadwing, though. It's going to be a big ass map. Yep. <laughs> things will decide as well, based on. Uh, things will be decided, rather based on where they do spawn. It can be cross spawns to make it even bigger, or it could be vertical spawns. Wow. Things go crazy. There's no more swarm hosts that are viable anymore. Let's see the results here, the predictions. Four of us going for Lenok. I was actually wrong that time. I told you that Kanata went for someone else, and it was actually Yude Hyun. Uh, I thought Kanata was in the middle. Right. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. All, all that matters is Team Salmon stuck together once again, <laughs> Valdez. Once again, let's hope we're right this time. Myungsik versus Lenok in the ace match. Down here in the bottom left, in the purple, it is Myungshi. And up here in the top right, it is Lenok. Cross Spawnerino. Cross Spawnerino, no cappuccino. This is going to be a long one. Yep. Unless Myungshi wants to put an end to it fast. I think he's going to be the one who may do something crazy, but when it's this far away... Mm. I think this is actually the longest rush distance, right? Of any map, cross uh, spawns, dead wing. I'd have to say so. I'd have to say so in the current map pool. I cannot think for the life of me a map that may be longer. I think Vani is like only slightly smaller, right? Yeah, Vani's a bit smaller. But also Vani's got like a backdoor base. Mm. Whereas on dead wing, you know, maybe natural to natural isn't as far. Sure, sure. I don't know. I don't know. Dead wing. Dead wing. Ace map is dead wing. Dead wing. That guy was like writing a poem. He was like I'm trying a little too hard. Through failure comes death. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Through failure okay. comes. That's heavy, man. It's like a I don't know if it was exactly like that, but I saw the end. It was like through victory comes hope. Some victory comes life. Maybe it's like the hope that with our one and six, we can possibly do better in round three. Right. Well, I guess it'll give you that little bit of a moral bump. But besides that, and look at what we see here. Myungshik, you dirty, dirty boy, going for a cannon rush. And I don't think Lino's going to see it in time. Oh! <laughs> he saw it, but let's see if he actually saw it. He saw it, but he saw it, saw it. Well, here we go. There's the pylon, and so begins the ace match. Oh, Lenox saw it. Lenox saw it, he's like, Ugh. Ugh. You're one of those guys. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sounds you make, Moonglade. Thank you, Valet. <laughs> and here we go. Probes running around. Drone's going to try and block this one out. He's make sh got to make sure that the cannons don't get down. Any sort of awkward positioning that, that, that there isn't any surface area, but it looks like we're actually going to see Myung should go for that Nexus down below. Mm. It's all good. Probe not going to get much done. And Leonok at this point knows not much is going to get done. He's even beginning to mine a little bit. Trying to be as efficient as possible while still being safe, yeah. making sure nothing happens. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Not too much damage done. Just pulled full drones off. For a pylon, and then from there, you know what? The the other sort of thing that Lenok knows is it is a forge, obviously. Well, most likely, you know. I guess he doesn't know for sure because he yeah. didn't see a cannon go down. Suppose it could have been just like a fake pylon. Could have been a fake pylon, but it was a full pylon at least. So either way, he lost some money. Yeah. You can't go for that easy third as well. Once he gets the scout off, that it is actually a forge expand. Probably will go for it anyway. It is a pretty easy sort of map to defend three base on. Against just about any build for the Protoss. Yep. There goes that drone. Down that third base. 
So yeah, longer game here. We gotta really just wait until the Protoss makes his first attack, see which direction we're going with here. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it's good for Protoss in these kind of positions because they can very easily go up to three to four bases, and this map is fantastic for Protoss because of that one trick where they can defend all four bases. Yeah. And it makes things a little bit trickier, especially for Zerg, especially this patch, because we don't have Swarm Hosts that work anymore. Yeah. What do you do here, basically? I think There's no Swarm Hosts. You have to put on Roach Hyzer Vapor Pressure? I think you have to apply a lot of pressure early, at least. You know, like, Leenok could very well go for the same sort of style he went for against his last Protoss opponent. You know, go for Mass Slings, go for mm. kind of heavy counterattacking, though, you know, even counterattacking is ridiculously hard on a map like this where you can defend so easily. Maybe you'll want to go up to the late game. Maybe he wants to go Muta Corruptor. Maybe he wants to go for like Roach Hydra into Brute Lord. Mm. Mm. Anything, any one of these things can uh, can really change it up. But it's like the only options he does have as well. Um, it's a decent amount of options. It's just that one of the big ones was taken away. Well, one of the big ones that you need to like fight. Death Bowls, essentially. Yeah, like some like very popular strategies from other So you kind of uh, have to races. like, yeah, you have to whittle down your opponent a lot more than just simply go for like a heavy late game because Protoss will always have the better late game. And up here now, two lanes are going to scout the third base. And there's a cannon. And of course that's entry, so no more scouting going to get done. He knows there's an uh, upgrade coming out of the forge. Slight bit of information. Yeah, a little bit of a tidbit there. I'm like, mm. yeah, plus one. Okay. All right. All right. See what you're doing, man. Young Sheik. You almost called him Moonglade. I almost did. Moon Sheik. Moon Sheik. <laughs> That's a new name. I got yeah. lots of names, man. Taste has called me all sorts of names. What do you call you when you guys are casting? My Moon and Stars. <laughs> that was one of the good ones. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, one of our other friends out here called me Moonrock. Moon Rock. Yeah. All right. I don't know. What why. about Moonstone? Pokemon? Yeah, I guess you could use that. that I mean, it's not particularly interesting or funny. It's just like, oh, it's from Pokemon. Does that, know, does that evolve? Yeah. Um, some of the normal type Pokemon can be evolved by Moonstones, I think. They're forced to evolve. Yeah. Something it's, like it's that. It's an unnatural evolution. It's been a while yeah. since, I, <laughs> since I played around with the Moonstones. Yeah. To I, be I, honest. I didn't like the Moonstones. They evolved too early. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unnatural, like. Yeah. You don't want to force your, your Pokemon to evolve no. too early. No, I love my Pokemon. I always wished Ash turned his uh, Pikachu into a Raichu, though, because I hated Pikachu. Raichu was cool, though, He was man. badass, Loved man. Raichu. And clearly it would be a lot stronger than the Pikachu, so why didn't he just make it a Raichu? Just get rid of this annoying Pikachu. Well, I he, didn't, he, didn't, he, he loved his Pikachu, man. Just like you're saying, you know? He didn't want to force it to evolve, so. And any time it was good was when it got really angry and stuff. Mm. I don't know, man. I didn't trust that that Pokemon at all. Raichu's definitely cooler. And That's the crap sure. that Ash went through for this Pikachu, because it was like one of those troublemaker Pikachus. Oh, man. Hell no, I would not deal with that. <laughs> I'd throw a Moonstone at it the moment I got it. I'm like, oh, I gotta change your personality. I gotta grow you up. <laughs> throw a Moonstone at it? Just throw it at it. I don't think that works. You just like hit him in the head, it doesn't do anything. I thought that's how you meant to do it. Well, not with the Moonstone. No? I think for Pikachu, it's something different. I think they just evolved naturally, in fact. Didn't, didn't it try <laughs> to evolve at one point, but Ash stopped it or some crap? Maybe. Oh man, I hate that story. Why am I even talking about it? <laughs> We got a bit of a roach push coming across, but yeah. uh, he should be totally fine well, now with all the sentries. I think we know exactly what uh, Leonok has planned, at least. You know, he's got that Spire coming up, and he's going into high from here. So it could be Broodlords. It could be a Muta switch into something later. Well, Myungshik is already prepared for this. He is very prepared. This guy has been thinking, thinking yeah. a lot about this match. I like it, you know? I really do. Yeah, I like it, too. Man. I didn't like it for Leenok there. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, that could be a bit, <laughs> a bit of a problem here. He's going up to five bases, so I feel like it must definitely be a Muta mm. Switch. Double Robo mm. from Myungshi. Wow, Myungshi's getting ready for anything. Yeah. He's just going to do what you basically said before. It's like take four bases and build up a big death ball, get a lot of different units, tech paths open. Yeah. Make a giant group of units. Yeah, essentially, right? 
Mm. Well, we have Corruptors on the way at least. Mm -hmm. And a Great Aspire. Okay. Right away. So it looks like straight to Broodlords from here. It's going to be up to Lino to really stop this from being scouted there. Like, this could be a big problem if he gets scouted. Something's going on. Uh-oh. Uh, I think Myungshik's computer just crashed. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. man. It, the screen looks is like it. Screen went black on his uh, monitor down there. Yeah. And he's exiting the game. That's a shame. Right as the warp prism comes in, like, the worst time, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of horrible timing. Right before anything was about to be scattered, any sort of harassment was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Of oh. course, he won't get a warning for this. You know, it's just, <laughs> Imagine uh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> That'd like, be I can't believe your computer crashed. How you dare you let your computer <laughs> crash? You got a warning. Your team forfeits. Yep. That would be funny. You I get think fined he's $500. He's going to crash out of this game. And Resume from replay, mm. ETC, etc. Yep. So, did, <laughs> did Tasteless call you Moon Pie at all? No, no one called me Moon Pie yet. Oh. That's a thing, right? It's a snack? Moon Pie? Uh, apparently. Pretty sure I've heard of that. Yeah. Mm. Is it delicious? Yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you. it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leonox just looks. He's like, well, bored. Yeah, well, he was like in the height of it, man. He was like, I'm going Broodlords. Like, it's going to be really cool. Mm. And Myungshik was about to drop him, maybe even fly over that Great Aspire, which is going to spoil everything. And he'd probably go into Mass Void Race from there. Yeah, it's a very easy switch for him. Easiest as, easiest thing you could ever do. Yeah. And then it gets a little complicated, right? Because what are you going to do against Mass Void Ray? Possibly your Templar on the way as well. Like Templar Archives was being made. Like Storm, Mass Void Rays. Looks like Myungshik has taken one of the... Uh, the KT habits over with him to Prime. He uh, drinks Picari sweat all the time. Mm. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he had a bit of a haircut. Yeah, he had a haircut, but also he got all eight predictions right before the ace match. Oh, really? Yep. Damn. He said that in the in the chat. He was kind of bragging, but good for him. Damn it. It's pretty good. I know you're not happy, Moonlight. It's horrible I'm news. I'm not happy either. It's horrible news, Bella. I, I went like half and half. I <laughs> got like four and eight. I think I might have got two wrong so far, right? I'm not figures. sure. I can't remember. Um, yeah, bad day for me and you, actually. Well, let's hope Especially we hold on to our percentages. Let's just hope. And it's going to be very even. You guys can see down there in the bottom left, Myungshik's getting his computer switched out. In fact, his monitor, it looks like. Not really his computer. Hmm, he's changing the whole thing. Maybe his monitor just, like, exploded, like, shut off or something. Well, it wouldn't make sense for his uh, PC to do the same, right? Mm. I don't know. Hmm. Well, no official word on it yet. You're just going to have to stick tight with us to see the end of this game, guys. Myungshik versus Leonok. If you're just joining, mm -hmm. it's the ace match of Prime versus uh, Startel Yoey. The big ace match to see who comes last. Yep. The big one. Yep. It's probably more last important than big see. match. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> <laughs> last big match. Uh, well,. When you think about it, it's probably more important than, than who gets first and second as well, right? It's, it's got to be mm. who is more Not shamed well. and who is more <laughs> <laughs> victorious. So we are going to be resuming from replay uh, when everything gets sorted out with Myungshik's PC. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win, CJ Antis versus Jyn Air? That's a, pr a pretty interesting match. They were talking about that with Sue, actually, in the interview. A little yeah, bit. that's a pretty tough one to decide on, actually. I'm not sure. That's uh, CJ versus. Uh, well, CJ's Jenner. been doing so well, you know. Mm -hmm. I think I think they'll they'll beat Janeiro. I think Maru might get a game. Yeah, but I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, it's well for CJ. If you think about it, it's like, um, it's Hero Biol Byung and someone else. There's like always that fourth spot for them. Mm. Sky high. That's it. That's it. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Sky High, he's really come out of his shell recently. He's been doing very well. Mm -hmm. If they put him on the right map, I, I mean, we'll just have a look at the right map. Let's have a look what map. Well, uh, look at the right map. Uh, yeah. So I don't predict it wrong. All right, Sky. Well, okay, Sky High's not going to be on it. It's actually Hush. It's Hush. Interesting. <laughs> Hush is against the Zerg as well. 
Rogue actually went on <laughs> Deadwing, so... Oh, my God. Mm, ambitious. That, that is, like, a really good call out of Jenner Groomings. Is it? Because Rogue went down to Young shit recently. But still, mm. I don't know. Hush is only really good against Protoss. That is true. That's that, the thing. Like, he's only proven like he's decent against Protoss. And I think they put him out on Deadwing specifically to snipe a Protoss. And yeah. who do they put out to snipe a Protoss here? It looks like Rogue. SOS versus Hero there. That's not uh, looking good for Jenner. Yeah, that's not good. Even Mari versus Biel could be dangerous for Mari. I think Biel actually might win that game. It's going to be a hard Biel one. took a best of five against Innovation and made it look easy. Yeah, that is a... <laughs> Well, now, Innovation isn't quite at the same height as he was when he was facing life in those best of fives, but Biel is really on top of his game right now. Hmm. You know, if, if we had seen, if we saw Sky High on Deadwing instead of Rogue, uh, sorry, Hush, I think uh, that would be really good for CJ. Like a 3 0? Maybe even a 3 0. I think actually yeah. quite possibly a 3 0. I'm just, we're just talking about this match right now, guys, because, I mean, we're just in delay between these two players, and uh, I'm really excited for that match, just to be honest. Me so too. That's going to be the big one to watch tomorrow, guys. Make sure you're tuning into that one. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Still no uh, still no join from Young Sheik. I guess he's getting all these settings sorted out and whatnot. Yeah. We'll get there eventually, Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep chugging along. Keep chugging, on man. On our cast train. Yeah, it's good. Chugga, chugga. Good to be casting. Mm. And we have uh, Star League this Thursday as well, right? It's uh, the group selection. Oh. So Wolf and Sojang are going to be doing that. Okay. Getting that translated for you guys. It should nice. be very entertaining. You yeah. know, it's, it's not really StarCraft, but it's It's still actually a lot of fun to see the personalities. I love come it, man. Yeah. I love it. It's pretty cool. Personalities you'd never really see ever again. Ever yeah. outside of it sort of thing. Um. We have some new guys going in there. I think Dark is not there, and also Terminator is not going to be there. Oh, really? But we're going to have guys like um, Hyun. He's an older guy, like a mature guy. He can fool yep. around on camera, very relaxed, you know. That guy is very charismatic. Yeah. yeah he's a I lot love of that guy. He's, he's probably going to make that pretty fun. Yeah, he's very cool. Um, Deer did not make it, oh, I really? think. I'm pretty sure, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he was pretty funny. He had, like, an um, interesting dance, at least. Rogue is not going to be there. Rogue was somewhat interesting. We're getting this on screen right now. Oh, uh, let's have a look at the interesting people here. I mean, we got... Aren't yeah. they at the top? The uh, Oh, are they? But is, these are all the participants, not the ones that got through the... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so we we got to look at, like, Bio, Deer, Potting, of course, going to be interesting. Oh, Deer beat SOS 3-1. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. That yeah. happened on Friday. SOS still not having much luck here. Yeah, he's still trying to I don't know, make a name for himself, man. He he really like dropped off the map after like last year or well, the year before. Yeah, he comes out occasionally and has good games against Zergs and Terrans mm. occasionally, and then kind of just damn. Not it's much actually else. really surprising that Hyun three would Los Hero. Yeah, that's huge. I gotta go back. You and gotta watch, watch that. that series, man. Damn, Hyun just oh man. <laughs> Well, hey man, that ZVZ, he, he was so prepared. He was rank one in WCS like last year for the whole year, like uh, being part of the WCS uh, Europe. Oh no, no, he was part of NA actually, I think. Mm. But he, yeah. he, he, he acu acu accumulated, accumulated mm. blah, more points than anyone <laughs> blah, else, blah, blah. and he was he was rank one by the end, man. Yeah, my English is is fading after this long night. Mm. Underneath the mist, it's getting to our heads. Yeah, the mist is getting to me, man. <laughs> I actually did like a. Pretty impressive stutter when I was casting with Tastes as, as no. well. I was trying to say ghost, but going, ghost. Because <laughs> my, like, my voice, my, uh, my mouth was so tired. Yeah. That was like probably the last day for you, right? Yeah, it was. Four days out of five casting. Oh, my God. Pretty, pretty fun. It's fun, but it's yeah. casting is, is not easy, talking mm. this much. Especially for a nerd. Yeah. That's not We're easy. We're all nerds. All the casters are nerds. Yeah. We I all play a lot of games. I just play games at home all day. I don't actually yeah. do anything else. We like to go out and have fun sometimes. Thunderstone. <laughs> Pikachu to Raichu. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that tweet. <laughs> Thunderstone. <laughs> I knew it wasn't a moonstone. I was very sure. Well, I would have thrown a moonstone at it anyway. Because you just, like, throw it, hit him on the head, knock him unconscious such anyway. Such an annoying little Pokemon. Yeah. Ugh. I'll stick to my Charizard any day of the week. Yeah? Were you, like, a Charmander kind of starter guy? Yep. But I started with, uh, I think actually, I think I started with Bulbasaur first. Mm. Okay. Then I went to uh, Charmander the second time I played through. 
I played it all on blue. Uh, yeah, Pokemon me blue. too. Yeah, me too. I did Squirtle. I was a Squirtle guy because it was me and my brother. My brother picked like the best Pokemon, which is Charmander. I don't know why we thought it was the best. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh, good second best Squirtle because we all thought that Bulbasaur was really bad. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Bulbasaur fans. He's, he's probably actually the best starter Pokemon because he's great for the the first couple of gyms. For I think. Brock and Misty. Yeah. Yeah. But for some reason, we thought he was bad. <laughs> I think just because Charizard was really cool. Well, Charizard definitely, I think he ends up being the best, or at least he's the most popular. He's a big-ass dragon. But he would definitely you know? beat down um, Bulbasaur in the late game for sure, man. Mm. But I, I'm no technical Pokemon player or one of those competitive players either. There's yeah. a there's a scene for that, too. Yeah, there is. You know? A little too deep for me, though. Like, you've got to breed the right Pokemon or something. Like, like r run or bike back and forth, back and forth. Wait a certain amount of days until it's ready, the egg. Really? Yeah. Oh. you got to send it to the Pokemon daycare. I'm not sure if you actually have to do that anymore. I'm not sure. I hope not because that's <laughs> too far. It's too taking it too far? It's too, too much far. grinding? Too much grinding for a competitive game. Yeah. Well, I say that and I played five years of World, World of Warcraft. PVE rating. Oh, I so, uh, hmm. were you a, were you a hardcore raider? <laughs> yeah, I was for a while. I was a hardcore for like raider. two two years. When it first came out, I uh, I was definitely hardcore. Uh, yeah, like molten core and stuff. Molten core, man. We used to cascade the instances and steal other people's instances. Ooh. And <laughs> we'd like pay them off, like yeah, like give us your instance. So like he'd log in, give us his instance, and then we'd we'd run it all through. So the the the, uh, the clan would come back and do it, like maybe the next night, and it's just, it's cleared. They're like, wow. what happened to us? <laughs> yeah, man, we were badasses, man. Team Eminence. You guys were like a bike gang, we basically, were like rolling rock. through. Yeah, we were thieves. <laughs> Stealing all the loot from, from Molten Core. Nicely done. I didn't enjoy the uh, the next expansion, Blackwing Lair. I, that's when I stopped. I was like, this is too hard. I want to just tank and spank. Mm. Then I went back to competitive RTS, and I was probably better for you're it. You're happy with it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it definitely... Uh, it's much more satisfying. Yeah. Well, guys, I have some good news for you. Everybody who waited, thank you for waiting with us. We really appreciate it. We're jumping back into the game right now. Countdown is on, and we are now in the game. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's going to be just before that. War Prism just tried to, to jump in here. So he's going to turn around. The not going to have any idea that a Great Aspire is on the way for now. So he's going to be revealing these uh, Phoenixes as well. Nope, just for them for now. Looks like he stopped making them actually. Just gonna get some nice scouting and get rid of these overlords that are around the map. Where are the observers right now? They need to clear out that annoying burrow laying at the fourth. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? Gigantic warp in there at the top left. Giga warp in. Yeah, these phoenixes causing a little bit of trouble here. Oh. A couple getting wiped out, but they're kind of getting pushed towards this Great Aspire, which is the scary thing. Uh, they, you might want to think twice about trying to follow them. I think he just needs to go for another scout of the base. It's been a while. Well, there we go. He's going to scout the Great Aspire. He's going to be like, oh, like I, that was meant to be a surprise. And it just comes out. Well. Double Warp Prism plus Storm. Wow. Uh, well, this is one way to deal with this? it. What is this? What is that? <laughs> Is he just going to go, like, run in with a bunch of zealots? You can't pick those up in one warp prison, man. I don't know, man. That is, that is a heavy counterattack if I've ever seen one. I guess he's, he's just waiting for the Zerg to move across the map with his pretty, uh, I guess, hardcore uh, broodlord army, and he'll just straight up counterattack with multiple warp prisms and a ton of zealots. And it's not a bad move at all. It's definitely one way to deal with it. The Protoss version of a... Ling run by, I guess. Yeah, exactly. But we still got to wait for Linok to make those uh, those corruptors into brute lords. Linok is going ultra late game. He's making like twelve spine callers right now. Currently, he's making more drones to refill that because he's he's he was up at like ninety five. Then he made like twelve spine callers and then he made twelve more drones. So he's now up at ninety six. Yeah, isn't it interesting that he hasn't actually uh, gone for brute lords yet either, despite it being scouted. Like, and considering what Myungshik has right now, he has got no real any air besides the Blink Stalkers. Nice little harass here. 
Oh, Focusing yeah. now that hatch, actually. No response yet from uh, from Leenok. And he's bringing everything back now. All right. All right. All right, we'll clean it up. Almost dead hatchery there. 450 HP left. Ooh. And more Stargates being added. Oh, we've been throwing away sentries. I think that's on purpose. Yeah, completely on okay. purpose. This Mike. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, still like, there's about, oh man, how many is that? 16, 21 zealots on the left side. They're going to be running towards Linux base now. That is 40 supply of zealots. There's still so many spine crawlers though, and he scouts it. So he's just going to have roaches in position. Yeah, he's gonna turn around. He's gonna come back it. and uh, I yeah, I, I just, <laughs> I, yeah, I. To be honest, I don't know. I guess it's still not happening, know. man. Well, here we go. A lot of heavily upgraded zealots here. Two one. He's gonna back off though and wait for his stalkers to push here on the on the creep. Yeah, well, I guess that's something, right? The stalkers get some some space to deal with the creep. Now the Zealots just kind of on the run. Finally, some of them do get cleaned up. And this army is getting onto Creed. What's he got? He's got some Infestors and some Ultras on the way. Yeah, here we go. Just, it's just a massive amount of Stalkers. And Lenox actually, it's like he's trying to like, okay, he's defending that sixth base, but he's completely out of position for this attack now. Oh my God, this is horrible. Is he going to think these Colossi are real? No, I think these things are fake. I think he has to, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's oh, pretty really obvious at this point. Ultras come out, but they're completely out of position as well. I guess the Colossi can get in front and tank some of the damage from some melee units. Oh, this is this is not a good place for Leenok. Now the time warp goes down. He's got all of those Corruptors and some Vipers in the mix. They can put down some Binding Clouds. Instead, they decide to pull a Stalker. Pulling the Colossi. Yeah, they're all fake. I think he's totally, he's falling for it. Oh my god. And a blink forward, he's gonna, he's gonna fungle it. And some lings are popping out, but this is just so many stalkers and the plus three is done. And now he's on top of the production. So there's really no way for Lino to remax safely and deal with this kind of bull from Young Shik. 12 Ultras with some lings on the way. Is that even going to be enough at this point, though, when they come out of every sort of hatch oh, no. and die in, like, one shot? There's some free ultras if I've ever seen them, man. Yeah, this is a horrible situation. That oh, is even warpings in the back. That is, like, maxed out Mass Stalker with Link. There's some ultras, but they're just bugging out on the Stalkers. This is a lot of ultras, man. Yeah, maybe but. that'll be enough. Really nice position from the Blink Stalkers, and he can just micro these forever. Some yeah. Zealots coming from the top as well, even more Stalkers being warped in, and all of these Ultras are finally, it looks like, eventually going to go down. The crazy thing is that Leenok still has a huge bank, and he's got seven more Ultras on the way. He's making four more. Now he's got 11 more Ultras on the way. Could he possibly hold this off? He's, he's lost so many bases. Oh man, I, I don't know, like he's ahead in supply technically once these things hatch, but they're just hatching from everywhere, which is a problem, so we can never get a good fight off. Oh, this is pretty insane. Young Chick is like winning with Mass Stalker 21 minutes into the game in a PZ. Yep, here we go. Drones being pulled, more warp ins, but really nice blink micro from Young Chick. I think that's going to be it. Yeah. Leenok's going to go down. And another prediction down for us, Valdez. We screwed up again. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was on me. Nah, it's all good. But, uh, yeah, that was actually a really, really bad way to go down from Leenok. He just didn't have good decision making when it came to what unit choice he wanted in the late game. And then he got caught out of position completely. Yeah. Kind of shows you, though, like, even the strange play from Youngshik, he's able to take a win. He's able to take a game. This guy, like, somehow has figured out this matchup to an extent. 
He's taken out so many big names. Now adding Lenox to the list. GG is called, not even in the right way. And Myungsik, he takes another win, and he wins it for Prime. Oh, man. Startail is in last. Yep. Prime, have some redemption. And he wins with Mass Stalkers. <laughs> Mass Blink Stalkers. There you have it, guys. Young Sik, we're beginning to understand more and more how uh, he's beginning to win these PBZs. Really, really interesting play, man. I don't even know what to say. He got up four bases. You would expect a giant Protoss death ball, but it was almost like Leonok pr predicted that and he was preparing for it, but then Leonok just attacked it with something that he was not prepared for. Yeah. Just mass Blink Stalker. It's going to be great against mass Corruptor Viper, you know? It was just such a weird way to lose. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just like, I'm flabbergasted, Valdez. That's a good way to put it, man. Flabbergasted, flabbergasted, man. I cannot believe it. That is just such a weird way to go down. Like, he had the bank. He had the money. He had the tech for the army as well. Like, it's just a matter of getting it and being in position for it. I washed my hands with the Valdez. Yep. <laughs> I just want to forget this day, man. Let's, let's <laughs> push this aside in terms of predictions. Interesting things, though, across the board. Prime takes it here. Zone taking out Son and Myungsi takes a game against Pet. Pretty interesting one there. Pet getting pretty tunnel vision there. He could have actually taken that one against Myungsi. And then Curious taking out Yoda. Do not watch that game. Leonok versus <laughs> Creator. You can watch that game. Yeah, you can watch that one. And then Myungsi versus Leonok. That was just uh, an interesting one. Don't watch that game. Yeah, well, well <laughs> it was all right. Was, uh, uh, man. Nah. Well, here we go. Prime gets to seventh place. Negative 15 there. So they're still behind that way. <laughs> it's not that way. That's but, uh, pretty unbelievable. I man. guess they get some redemption tonight. They get some uh, some pride back. Some morale is built. Yeah. Well, what I'm seeing here is a very clear-cut distinction from the top six teams compared to the bottom two. And... Uh,